welcome to NFL Film School, the preseason edition. So NFL Film Preschool, if you will. We are going to cover the Bengals and the Bears. And the Bengals came out with a 30-27 victory in a meaningless game, but there was a lot to be hopeful about. And the first thing that we want to talk about is that Andy Dalton looked very, very sharp. All right, John, we are going to look at the very first play for Andy Dalton here. What what kind of uh, formation do we got going on here, John? So it's 11 personnel. It's the first time that we've seen Green, Boyd, and Ross on the field at the same time. And what's important to note is that that's Green in the slot, and that's Boyd and Ross outside. It kind of makes the uh, mold who's number two, who's number three kind of meaningless because they can have these guys lined up in multiple spots, and this is just taking advantage of a nice matchup against Green, using him on a little drag route over the middle. But what's important on this play is the pass protection from right guard Trey Hopkins. He kind of misses initially against a very good uh, defensive lineman, Akeem Hicks, and Hicks gets up in Dalton's face and ends up hitting Dalton, but Dalton stands strong and delivers a good throw to Green. Okay, so so good for Dalton. And, and you look, uh, what do you think about Cordy Glenn's protection here? Uh, he kind of kind of let, lets off the edge a little bit, but he recovers nicely with that long arm. Okay. That's and there's good. also a lot of traffic in the middle of the field, which kind of clears up uh, Green's route, which which is the concept that they're going for, you know, to get the, get the linebackers, you know, going one way and freeing up Green for space. Yeah, it seems like a very confusing kind of uh, confusing like concept for the defense here. Tight end Uzoma is that his whole his whole part of that play is just to free up that linebacker. Yeah, Green shows nice burst. Okay, let's go to the second play. So now we're in, I believe, yes, yeah, twelve personnel with Boyd in the slot, makes him run a flat. And pressure was allowed by Bobby Hart, the right tackle. He bent it at the waist, which is a big no-no, and allowed Leonard Floyd to rush up the middle. And Trey Hopkins does a nice job of looking for work and clearing him out, allowing Dalton the, the time to escape the pocket and rush for that first down. So about average pass blocking, maybe, or, or below average for, for, uh, for Trey good Hopkins? For, good for Glenn and Bowling and Price. Very bad for Hart, but since it was a four-man rush, um, Hopkins had the ability to, you know, survey in front of him and see who needed help, and Hart obviously needed help, so a good play from him. But this is a good play from Hart. He comes back with a very solid vertical set and pass protection. You see the full work is nice. The punch was nice. Dolan was able to get off the throw quickly to Joe Mixon, who was lined up out wide. It was an empty set from 11 personnel. You see at the top of the screen, Ryan Hewitt, the fullback, is lined up at the top, and Joe Mixon at the bottom. And you had, you know, a cornerback playing 10 yards off of Mixon, who just runs a simple five-yard hitch. And, you know, it's important that they get Mixon out in space to, you know, make plays like this because that's what we know he can do, you know. He's so good at making guys miss in the open field at his size. He says he's only spun like that in Madden before. Exactly what we wanted to see. So it looks like the weight loss program he had was a good thing. Yeah, he looks really good out there. I had to review if his elbow was down, which it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good awareness. That is a touchdown. Okay. Second drive. So now you have Mixon off the field with Bernard, and the big problem here was... Uh, they isolated Tyler Croft, the tight end at the bottom of the screen, in a one-on-one situation with Leonard Floyd. Floyd beat him around around the inside, got in Dalton's face. Dalton still got the throw off, but the biggest problem here was obviously John Ross falling at the top of the hitch route, and cornerback Kyle Fuller just jumped it and took it back to the house. But, you know, it's a simple mistake from Ross. You know, he, he runs that route 99 times out of 100. Better to make the mistake in the preseason when it doesn't matter. Well, we have also to factor in the jitters for John Ross. We know he's dealing with them. It's a for real, sure. It's a real thing, John. Oh, I know. Okay. I- I've watched this team suffer from it for the last 22 years. Right, and I mean, the pressure on John Ross, you know, right now. 
That is just what. What would you say? The other than the jitters, is there any other fight like the maybe the cleats or the turf or? Why I mean, it could be it... anything. It just you, you just slip. You know, he's he's a very quick athlete. Sometimes his feet just work a little too fast for what it should be doing. Is this a good play to run for John Ross? Yeah, yeah, because he's so he's so fast running a vertical running the vertical stem. He gets cornerbacks to kind of lax off and creates that separation just from his speed alone. So when he's at the top of that route and turns back for the ball, but, he but, has like room. To, he has room behind him where he can make a clean catch. Well, right, but look at look at Dalton's head and his eyes the whole time. Do you see what I'm saying? So, like, how much separation could you expect Ross to get when Dalton is, is staring him down like that? Well, can we go back to the to the uh, broadcast angle where we see how, how far off the cornerback was playing from Ross at the line of scrimmage? Oh, I see. So, yeah, he's, he, he's, he's, he, he starts off five yards off and then kind of cheats off a little bit more because they're not, they're not exactly playing man coverage. So, Ross... And, and obviously the cornerback jumps... The yeah. route when he sees that Dalton is throwing it. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying yeah. is that that's it's a, it's maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, not it is. It is I mean, they're going they're going for easy yards, and yeah. Ross catches that and probably gets tackled. Right. But in, just just in I, just looking at that route concept, I, you know, an isolated scenario, it's a good play for easy yards for Ross to get a clean catch. I see, and maybe to get them going, maybe get them warmed up, so you get a yeah. bigger play later on. You know, yeah. like this way, like you said, maybe maybe this makes the corner play a little more honestly, and then later mm -hmm. on you get more separation. That makes sense. All right, not a big deal. It's a preseason. Get the jitters out of the way. All right, here we go. Now we got another Dalton Green play. Yeah, it's all trust. Yeah, it's back shoulder. The cornerback played it well, but you know. So four man rush, uh, you know, which they handled, you know, fine. Yeah. Protection held up cleanly. Even when Green's not open, he's open. But maybe against a better quarterback that doesn't turn out as well as it as it did. Yeah, a little bit of risk there. Yeah. He 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 kind of threw his arms up trying to get a hand on it, so he was close. A little bit of hand fighting there. Mm -hmm. All right, here we get Josh Malone involved early, which is nice. Nice timing route yep. here. Shows that out as soon as he makes that break off to the sideline against off coverage, just easy yards. To Geo, um, there was a fake handoff to Geo just to to um, see how the defense react. That's a, that's just a run pass option. Um, you see the five yards difference between Ross and the quarterback. Dalton sees the space, uh, just runs a little hitch route. Cornerback over pursues the sideline, which is just a stupid thing to do, and Ross takes advantage. That burst is special. Yeah, good awareness by number 39, otherwise would have been a touchdown. Mm -hmm. It's a good hustle play. All right, and so then what does he do right away? Now, John, we see him go right back to Ross on a fade route, which... Yeah. <laughs> Not I wouldn't run that route. Yeah, and that's what Dalton's thinking right now. He's like, what was I thinking? This is not A.J. Green. But but do you think he's trying to get him a touchdown to get the crowd, you know, to get kind of people excited? or Because it looks like Dalton maybe make this play, make this call. What do you think? It's like the shooter's fallacy, I guess. You know, he's, he's, thinking, he's thinking momentum's on his side. He's thinking, you know, I'm going to give Ross another, another chance to make a play after his catch. And... You know, the cornerback was in perfect position to play a fade route, and that's obviously why it didn't work. So then we go to a more traditional kind of end zone play. Yep. Just like uh, Uzoma cleared out AJ on that crossing route earlier, that's Josh Malone clearing out the slot cornerback with a little delayed fade, which gets the cornerback to wait, run with him, which clears out the space for Boyd to run the slant. Boyd already has good positioning against Kyle, uh, Kyle Fuller on the slant. Easy touchdown. Good placement by Dalton. Where only Boyd can get it. Dalton's good at those, you know, those quick, quick reads. As he should be, he's an NFL quarterback. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point, John. 
Okay, so that is our coverage of all of Andy Dalton's passes. Next, we're going to cover the game-winning drive for the Bengals in their preseason game coming up. It's the moon, Mother Nature, take it.